In this tutorial, we'll cover how to transform an object from a photo into clip art. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial. I have a collection of flower photos in a folder called Flowers, and this folder was set up as a content source in my Connect Content Browser. I'll drag this photo into my document. A photo is a raster image, and therefore not very useful as clip art since it can't be enlarged without losing sharpness. I want to convert the photo to a vector image, and there are a few options for this. In the Bitmaps menu, I can do a Quick Trace, Centerline Trace, or Outline Trace with several sub-options. The one that works best in this case is Clip Art. This opens the Power Trace window with Before and After views. I can switch to Large Preview to see more detail, or Wireframe Overlay to see the actual vector curves and fill colors that will be created. I can use this slider to adjust the translucency of the overlay. On the Colors tab, I can set the number of colors I want to reduce the photo to. In this case, five or fewer colors shows very little detail, so I'll increase to about 13. I could combine colors by shift-selecting them and clicking Merge. Under Settings, I can set the level of detail, edge smoothing, and corner smoothness. I could specify a background color to remove, but this photo has several colors I want to remove, so I'll leave this alone. I also want to group by color, which will make same color curves easy to remove as groups. I'll click OK, and here's my new vector object. When I open my Objects Docker, I still have the original bitmap, which I'll select and move to the side for comparison. The vector object is a group comprised of 23 objects, all of which are groups of same color curves. I want to isolate just the flower, so I need to remove everything that's not in a shade of pink or yellow. I can hold the control key to select objects within the overall group, and I'll delete one color group at a time. For the remaining stray pink objects, which can have their entire groups deleted, I'll select twice while holding the control key. After deleting the photo, only my vector flower image remains. I'll shrink it down a bit to fit better within a page. To use this in future documents as clip art, I'll choose File, Save As. I'll browse to my flowers folder and save as a CDR file. As another example, when I use the clip art outline trace on this photo, the maximum number of colors I can get is 14, which isn't quite enough. I can try the other options, such as detailed logo, high quality image, or low quality image, all of which use different default settings. With low quality image, I get 27 colors, which works well for this clip art flower. I've created and saved a few vector flowers in the flowers folder, and now when that folder is open in my Connect Content Browser, I can filter the list to show only vector objects, and I can drag them into any document. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on clip art from a photo in Corel Draw. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this tutorial.